Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Shana Searcy and I know you're going to be mad at me for this one, but I'm so excited to paint with you today for this next watercolor journal page. And you're going to see, I already have my drawing done on here. This was a complicated drawing that I just wasn't comfortable drawing live. Um, I had to erase a bunch and kind of make things, you know, work and I don't know. I just wasn't ready to draw this live for you, but maybe I will do another one soon now that I've done this subject with the drawing part, but we're going to paint today uh, and we're going to paint this lovely little rabbit. Let's zoom out a little bit. So that way you can see my palette. And I'm just gonna clean out some of my wells here so that we can get some bunny colors. So this bunny is gonna be like soft grays and browns with a little pink in the nose and pink inside the ears and Payne's gray for the eyes. So we're definitely gonna use a little magenta for our ears and our nose, but a very subtle version of that color. Here we go, some magenta. I am going to use some raw umber. It's this brown, this cool brown color. And Payne's gray. And I think that's pretty much it for this. So that's our color palette. We're just going to use lots of varying shades of color. So with animals, I do like to start, I personally like to start with the eyes uh, because otherwise they just look kind of creepy and alien until <laughs> those are painted in. So I'm going to take some Payne's Gray. I'm going to take a light wash of Payne's Gray. And with eyes, I like to build them up in layers. So I'm going to paint this whole section down here, but up here, I'm going to leave a little section for a white highlight, but this gray itself is actually going to be a highlight because I'm going to paint more of it darker. Um, but with eyes, as they catch light and reflections, you'll notice there's lighter areas, but they're not always completely white all the time, all of the area. Some of it is just a lighter gray versus a black but that gives it that glossy kind of sheen. So we have two like light reflections that are pure white in different areas, but I also have outlined this light gray is going to be another part of the reflection. All right, so we started with those. We're gonna let those dry and I'm gonna paint in my ears. Got a little gr Payne's gray in my pink. That's okay. So for my ears, I'm just going to put in this light pink color. And this one, like you're going to see a lot of the pencil lines, but I kind of like that. I feel like that is going to add to this particular look. Add a little darker area kind of under the fold there. There we go. Now for our little nose, it's going to kind of be pinkish towards the bottom here. Leave a little white area highlight at the top. All right, so now we're gonna to start to introduce some of our gray. The bottom. Of the mouth. These little, cute little chubby mouth areas. some brown as well. All 
we're definitely going to leave lots of light or white spots. This is a light colored bunny. But in this section here, around the eyes, it's going to be more in shadow, but like the bridge of the nose will probably leave pretty light. His little bent over ear, so cute. So just blending this out, but leaving this section very, very light. We'll put some texture on later to whoops, replicate some more fur. Then the little mouth down here is going to be very much in shadow and very dark. We're going to come back and add some more layers here for sure. But we'll just get that first kind of layer in. So I'm going to add a little darker pink towards the bottom of the nose. All right, you can kind of see it coming together, but still a lot of work to be done. Very much like a first layer. I'm going to take some of this gray under here. Nice and shadowed under the face. And these things always dry lighter. So I know I'm still in pretty good shape. Let's go back to the eyes. So now we're going to put in a much darker layer of Payne's Gray. This bunny's going to have eyelashes also.
There we go. All right. Get back into underneath the nose. And around the eyes. And I'm going to start to leave the edges a little bit ragged. I'm using a size six. I never mentioned this, but a size six um, Princeton Aqua Elite brush. Now I'm almost dry brushing the edges. Give that fuzziness. To some of the areas. We have to do a little more shading around the nose here and around this eye. Take some more of this brown. See how those little bits kind of give it just a little bit of texture. And then I'm actually going to take some this brown, bring it into the nose. And some little do 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 do. Fluff and texture around. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but you know, it's working for me. I'm going to put a little more texture down here, a little more dry brush. And dry brush is basically when you have very little paint and water on your brush and it actually is running out as you're using it and it's leaving lots of white marks. You're using the whole side of your brush, not just the tip, though you can use the tip and dry brush as well. There we go. All right, we're going to give this little bunny, hopefully she doesn't look too evil. Uh, I feel like this little bit up here is making her look a little evil. Uh, we're going to give her some eyelashes. 
And I'm going to give her a little bit more volume right around here. Her chunky cheek. Okay, let's give her some eyelashes. Well, that has to dry first over there. This also has to dry. Right, so I have to wait for those to dry to give her eyelashes. We could do whiskers. So you could do whiskers in a super light, like gray color. Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna pull out a smaller liner brush. I don't know where my smallest one is. Well, we'll use this one. It's definitely not my smallest, but I'm going to practice over here. Yeah, that's pretty thin. Okay. So I'm going to use a really light gray color. And the whiskers are going to be like right here. They're going to have some little dots that you can put in. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And you want them to be subtle. You don't want them to be like harsh lines. Like that one's a little harsh. Ugh. Hopefully it dries a little lighter. I'm going to add some water over top of it. I did it so well over here. And now it's like I can't get them. They're a little, ah, they're a little, little harsh, but they're going to dry. These are better. These are much better on this side, I think. Softer. It's this thick one that I got in there. Take a damp brush and see if I can blend that out mostly. And then I'll do another one on top of it. That's hmm. all right. Are these dry yet? You can take that same liner brush if you want or switch back to just a brush with a good tip. this little gal some eyelashes. So cute. She's got some little eyelashes. She's got some whiskers. We're going to darken this little section where her mouth opens up. And then we're going to be just about done with our little rabbit. There we go. All right, I'm happy with her. She's cute and fun to paint. I'm sure you're gonna see lots of little bunnies and rabbits out in your yard soon, trying to munch on your flowers. Thank you so much for painting with me again today. Sorry I wasn't able to do the drawing for you live on this one, um, but you got a glimpse into how I would approach painting a subject like this. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out the description for materials that I use in my uh, watercolors every day. And uh, go ahead and share this with a friend who you think might enjoy it as well. And we will be back for another watercolor journal page soon. Take care, y'all. Happy painting.